So today on Try This at Home, we're going to be setting up a WDS, or a wireless distribution system. Um, what a WDS is, essentially, is it's a repeater network, if you want to call it that, um, except every node has the same SSID. So there's seamless reconnect, if you want to call it that, moving from one area to another. This is the host router show you here. And then our client router, I've changed the theme. If you want to do this, it's in the administration tag or administration tab that's called router GUI style. I changed it from elegant to chromo. So that way it'll be easy for you to differentiate which router I'm changing settings on, which one I'm checking. So if your client router has been used at all, reset to factory defaults right off the bat. You want to make sure that you're starting from brand new. This router I just installed DDWRT on, so everything is at factory defaults, so we'll be going from there. First step, go to Setup tab, change our WAN from Automatic to Disabled, give it a second to catch up, enable STP, and then set our local IP address under Network, status, or network Setup to something that is in the same subnet as our host router, but is not the same. My host router is on 70.1, so this one will put it 70.2. Um, our gateway, we want to set to the host router. The same with local DNS. Then we want to disable the DHCP server and untick all three of those checkboxes. Then click the Save button. Now once it's loaded back up, go to Advanced Routing, change this from Gateway to Router, and Save. Now go to Services, disable DNS mask, and disable the WAN traffic counter. Save again. Now in Security, our firewall here, want to uncheck everything here except for Filter Multicast. Then once we have just Filter Multicast checked, check Disable the SPI firewall. Then save again. Now in our wireless tab we want to make sure that these are set to AP and set our SSID to the same as our host router. Make sure your channel is the same from one to the other. Save again. So now that all of the settings in here match all of the settings in here, the next optional step is to disable wireless security on both. Now I've chosen not to do that because I want to leave my host settings intact because it's already part of a well-working network. So, on our second router, in this case, we're going to change our security settings to exactly the same as this router. By disabling it, you rule out that your security settings are causing problems. But by doing this, we can be sure that everything is exactly the same, and we know that that will work. Okay, so once that's done, we're going to hit Save. Now on our host, we want to make sure Mac filter is disabled because we don't want it to just filter and throw the client off because it's not in the list. 
So now in our WDS config tab, now since this is a 5 gigahertz router, um, we have two. We have the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz, so we have to set both of those up on both routers. So I've already put this exactly how you want to see it on the host. Change this to LAN, and then put your client's MAC address here you can see that right here. So take the information from the top of the WDS on the client, put it into the boxes on the host, take the information from the host, put it into the client. So LAN. Okay. Now leave this stuff the way it is, just leave that alone, click Save. And this one should be all set. Now the one problem that I've found here is you cannot click on the 5 gigahertz WDS tab on the default um, theme, so you have to change this to 1 to get to there. So this one, same setup. Set this to LAN, set all of this to match everything under here. Click save. And we're also going to click save over here. Now we're going to click apply on the host router. Then we're going to click apply on the client router. Now at this point, it's going to change the IP, or it should change the IP of this, so we won't be able to access this anymore using this IP. After waiting a few minutes, mine took nearly probably two or three minutes to actually reboot after applying and begin working properly, but give it some time, be patient. Um, that's not something that I'm particularly good at. I, ha I ended up actually redoing this whole video about two or three times because I didn't wait long enough. So make sure you wait at the absolute least. Give it three or four minutes, five minutes. And if it doesn't work, unplug the client router for about 10 to 20 seconds, plug it back in, and then give it another five minutes or so. But um, after it boots back up, um, the easiest way to check is go to Status Wireless. You can see under WDS Nodes, I have both here, the signal, and then on your client router, do the same. Now I'm not 100% sure why the 5 gigahertz isn't isn't claiming to pick up on here. Um, I have to look into that a little bit, but it is obviously working because I've unplugged everything that was connected. Um, the fact that I'm recording this video right now and I'm able to access um, other websites, be able to go places, proves that I'm connected wirelessly because there's no wire connecting my computer between these two. If you don't trust me, then you'll have to try it for yourself. Grab a couple routers and set yourself up a wireless distribution system for your house. So, um, I guess that's all for today. Thanks for watching.